are my favorite. I literally just threw a skein of yarn on the floor over there instead of the wrapper. everyone welcome back to hello flower crochet i'm ellie i share crochet patterns and tutorials and basically all things crochet um, but over the next week or so i thought i would take you guys along with me so that we can do all of the fun crochet things together um, in this vlog this is my very first crochet vlog so please be patient with me while you see how awkward and weird i am um, i hope you accept me in all my awkwardness and weirdness <laughs> Okay, listen, I have some stuff to say, so I'm going to sit down and talk to you guys about it in a minute. But first, I wanted to show you that the pattern is complete. I love it. This is the Brighter Days bottle bag pattern. It will be out tomorrow, March 1st. But by the time you guys are seeing this video, it will already be out. So you can look for this on my website. The link will be in the description. Here is the pink one. And here's the yellow one. I only did the pink and the yellow one, but I'll talk about why in a minute here it is with the water bottle inside I'm obsessed and I'm going to take it everywhere okay but I do have some stuff to say so let me get situated and we'll talk okay so I'm sitting back down so now let's talk about things I started this vlog on February 19th and today is the 29th so it's been over a week since I started this vlog and I was going to update you guys and everything as I started making these patterns and I wanted to kind of show you the process um, like I said they're done now so at least I have them done but I was not able to update you as I went along and that's what I want to talk about just for a minute before we take care of all the new yarn and stuff so I I think it was like a day after I filmed the like intro to this video and had intended to continue working on the pattern and update you guys as I went and everything like that. <clears throat> um, if you don't already know, I have numerous health issues um, and I started a new medication and I had some side effects of that. I lost like 90% of my vision. It was really scary. My husband was at work. I had to use my phone as best as I could even though I couldn't really see super well and tell him to come home and help out and I got in contact with my doctor, had a doctor's appointment, long story short I have an MRI next week and I'm not on that medication anymore, I'm gonna try to get me back on my old medication, long story. But here we are, I'm back, we're gonna take care of yarn, we're gonna do all the fun crochet things still. Um, like I said, I am done with my pattern that I talked about in the beginning, I love it so much. The Romanian cord is perfect for the strap. The strap goes through these little holes so it's not just like crocheted on here you know when it's crocheted on here like i was saying before i don't really like the ones that like pull from the top and it makes this whole thing like pull up and look kind of i don't know not great so i just designed this a way that i just think looks better so i mean it still pulls like a water bottle holder would pull but in a better way i think in my opinion i think it just looks a little nicer so yeah that's available on my website like I said I'll link that in the description but anyway I got a bunch of new things that I want to show you guys and I have a ton of yarn on my couch and a ton of yarn up there I don't know if you can see up there over there I just really need to take care of all this so I figured we could do it together um, I also I'm gonna show you some of my new buttons that I got so I got a bunch of flowers of course um these flowers all of this was from i think i think all of it was from julian's i really love these ones they're just different i don't know i kind of just went on julian's website and you know don't leave a yarn lover on julian's website for too long or you'll end up with all this stuff like i just ended up with so Here's these little daisy flowers. I think they're really cute as well. And these rainbow buttons. Um, here's some more flowers. And then I just got a few packs of just regular buttons. These. And then these regular buttons. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of oh, bright. 
just regular ones. So I got a bunch of buttons and then I got a few new hooks in sizes that I didn't have. Well, I think I have these sizes maybe in a different brand, but in the Clover More, which are my favorite. I got a few new sizes. I didn't have 4.5 and 8, so now I do. So now I think I need to, I really need to take care of all this yarn, but I'm honestly not sure if it's going to fit on those shelves. I thought I counted, like, I thought I counted and seen if it was going to actually fit on the shelves. But So before we take care of all the yarn, I wanted to give you a little look at my yarn room. I'm not sure if I've ever shown you guys this. I don't think I have. Obviously on YouTube I haven't, but I don't know if I have on Instagram. Um, I'll do a full like yarn room tour, my flower den tour. This is my yarn room, but I call it my flower den just because I love flowers and my brand is Hello Flower Crochet, so I just thought it was fitting and I just wanted something different other than craft room or yarn room. I just thought it sounded nicer. Um, I'll do a full like tour once I have everything complete because we don't have full closet complete yet and I still want to get stuff for like the walls and stuff like that but for the most part I mean it's functional 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 see my brain is still a little from the medication so forgive me be patient with me I'm having a lot better of a day today than I was last week but I'm still a little foggy in my head so bear with me please but Anyway, like I was saying, I want to get some like pictures for up here and stuff like that. And I have this like really long white pillow over here that I really want to crochet something to go over top of it. But I don't know if I want it to like say something or if I want to do like flower squares, like flower granny squares, or if I want it to say like hello flower or hello flower crochet. I don't know. I'm still undecided. So that's why there's always just this long blank white pillow in the background of all my pictures and videos so now you know um over here let me see hang on let's take this off of here okay i'm not sure how this lighting is but i got it off the tripod so i can show you a little bit better up here i have my swift and my blocking board i don't have anything on there yet um because i just got that and i want to start blocking my stuff so it looks a little nicer and then i have just some hooks and the rest of my stuff some scrap bins some stuff in there and I'll just I'll go through all that later um, when I do a full tour but over here is the yarn shelves and that is all of the yarn that I need to go through so we can do a little yarn haul and I can show you some of the stuff that I got before I put it away um, so I need to put this back on a tripod and then we can do a yarn haul okay let's do this yarn haul so most of the yarn that I got is Big Twist Big Twist value because that is the main yarn that I use currently for all my projects and patterns, well most of my projects and patterns right now, um, but I did buy some other things, so just the main like big twist things that I got. Uh, light rose and mustard are my like main use colors, let me show you. So let's see, mustard and light rose, so this is mustard and this is light rose, I just got it off my shelf here, um, but I bought a bunch more of that, there's some up there and there's some on the couch. Uh, but yeah, those are my main used ones, so I got a lot of those, and I also got a lot of green and blue, which is, the green is called sage, and the blue is, I think it's sky blue, let me look. Yeah, it's sky blue, so I got a lot of that, and I also got a lot of ivory, because, oh, I'm out of breath, because for my white, I don't really like, like, the pure white ones, I like more of, like, the off-white, so I usually buy ivory, so I got a lot of that. Um, some of them that I got, though, like... This is like a true test, the true reason why you need to pay attention to lot colors or lot numbers because, I'll, let me just show you. So both of these are ivory. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera, but both of these are ivory, but they have, I think, different, yeah, obviously completely different lot numbers. I really am not sure how this is going to show up, but... This one is like way more dull than this one. I only got a couple of these ones. They only sent a couple of this lot. The rest are this one, which is good. But yeah, just really pay attention to your lot numbers because if you're doing a project and you're using this one and this one, it's gonna look completely different. Even though they're both ivory, they're different lot numbers. So that can really make a difference. So yeah, when I got those, I was like, okay, yep, that's a true reason why we pay attention to those things. So, but 
most of them are good so I got a lot of ivory like I said mustard sage light rose sky blue and then I'll get some of the other ones out down from up there and from the couch to show you some of like the different things that I got so one second okay so I have some of my favorite ones set out on my desk here so hopefully I don't knock any of them over um, but I want to show you some of the new yarn that I got that I think that I like the most that's just different than obviously I love big twist value but it's just the same stuff I always use so this stuff is a little bit different so I have some of the new ones that I got set out so I can show you guys so I think this one is like my favorite one and I'm so excited to use it it's Lion Brand Pound of Love in Unicorn I just think it's like the prettiest colors ever there's like pink and yellow which obviously I love pink and yellow so there's pink and yellow and white and then there's like this aqua blue color mixed in and I just think it's literally so pretty and I'm just so excited to use it I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet but I will definitely figure something out because this is gorgeous yarn another one that I got that I'm super excited to use is Big Twist Party in the color Jelly Beans again it's just so pretty it's like pinkish yellowish purple it's got a little bit of orange a little bit of like I'm not sure is that like dark bluish purple color I don't know but it's really really pretty and I'm just super excited to use this one as well. So I got a few different of the heathered ones. Like I said, I have the rose, the pink one, which is called rose. And the blue one, which is called light blue. This one's really pretty too, heathered. And then the other heathered one I got is green. And this one's called sage. Okay, so it's called the same thing as the other green, the solid green. The solid green is Big Twist Value Sage. And this one is Big Twist Heathered Sage. So they're called the same thing. But this one is just a little more speckly heathered i guess basically oh actually i have this one too it's big twist heather in the color let me see denim again i just really love the heathered look of some of these they're really pretty and i'm really excited to use them and see how they work up let me set these down so i also got i really love this color and i've used this many times before it's karen jumbo um i really okay hear me out I am not a fan of Karen Simply Soft, but Karen Jumbo is different and I think it is much better and much nicer. So don't come at me all the like Karen haters, but <laughs> this one is a lot nicer, trust me. So I really love the like, what is this one called? Let's see. Um, I'm really not good at remembering like the color names, uh, even if it's something I use a lot. Baby Rainbow. Okay, this one's called Baby Rainbow. That's basically what it looks like. It's just a bunch of like, it's like a pastel -y. I'm not sure how it shows up on the camera, but it's just like pastel rainbow colors and it's just really gorgeous and works up really, really pretty. So I got some more of that because I was getting low on that. And another Karen Jumbo I got is this, uh, let's see, Sunset. Again, gorgeous. Love the colors. I think this would be really pretty worked up as like, something for fall like an ear warmer or something like that or a scarf maybe it just is like a really just really reminds me of like fall colors and then i got three lily sugar and creams in the colors strawberry and over the rainbow and let's see what this one's called buttercream so these are all like really pretty colors i think this one's my favorite they're all really nice but this one's more like i think my vibe what's it called again over the rainbow right so this one's over the rainbow lily sugar and cream i really really like it and this is cotton um not acrylic like the other ones i've been showing you i don't use cotton a ton but i do use it sometimes so it's nice to have it on hand so that will be nice i also got this white one that i'm like super excited for it's literally so soft it's going to be great for um, the brim of the Santa hats that I want to do for December. Hint, hint, a pattern that's coming out in December is a Santa hat of mine. And I'm going to use, I'm not sure if this is the exact yarn I'm going to use for the brim, but it's what I'm going to try at first. So it's really, really soft. It's burnt at, um, let's see, whitey white is what it's called, I guess. I don't know, but it's really, really soft. And I just think it would look really, really, really pretty worked up in a brim for the Santa hat. So if the Santa hat was like just regular acrylic, um, maybe Victress Value Red, like one of the reds, 
um, if just any acrylic red yarn really but then you could use this for the brim so it's softer and more like fluffy and Santa like and just a little like contrast and different difference from just using two acrylics I just think this will look nicer with it so I'm really excited to use this like I said it's super super soft a couple more here so I have this this is another lion brand one heartland in the color let's see it's a little ripped so I can't really read it I think it says Lassen volcanic I don't know I think that's what it says but this one's really pretty too I just love the pinks like if I could just have all the pink yarn all the pink and yellow yarn really like I would just be happy and in heaven this one is just such a pretty pink color and I'm really excited to use this one as well okay I have two left so red heart super saver stripes in the color retro stripe another really pretty one um, if you really like acrylic yarn, like I said, I use Big Twist Value, and that's my favorite and my most used acrylic yarn, but Red Heart Super Saver has a ton of really nice, pretty colors as well, and it's really affordable and accessible. You can find it pretty much anywhere. And last, but certainly not least, is Red Heart Granny Square All-in-One. I am a little scared, a little nervous, but really excited to try this out. The color is... I think it's called soft white pink punch um i've seen a few people review this and i think you kind of have to get your tension figured out but i from the sounds of it after that it's like really nice and you don't have to switch colors or you don't have to you know chop your yarn and add a new color in it just kind of does that for you as you go as long as you get your tension figured out so i'm really excited to try this out and see if it works for me I think that this color is really pretty they had a few different color options but I think this one was my favorite and I'm really excited to try it so I think that is it for all of the different yarns a lot of it like I said is just like similar and the same and stuff like that but that's a lot of like the different ones and like the colorful ones and stuff like that like I said I think these two are my favorite and I'm just really really excited the lion brand pound of love and the big twist party one I cannot wait to sit down and figure out like what I'm going to use these for and to see how they work up because I think whatever I use it for, they're just going to be really, really, really pretty. So yeah, now I need to put all of this away. Like I said, I am not sure if it's going to fit on my shelf, so we're just going to have to give it a try and see if it fits, and if it doesn't, I will certainly find another place for it um, because there's always more room for yarn right right okay so i really need to get this taken care of so let's take care of this yarn so i have basically my white shelf which is my middle shelf it's where i put all my like white whitish yarn it's basically full and i have some more up there and some more on my couch so i don't know what to do with that so i think i'm gonna do the white last I usually put like my yellow right there and right there and my pink right there and right there and light pink up there. So I don't really know. We might have to rethink how we're going to do all this. So what I'm going to do I think is just take everything out of like their packages. Some of it it just came like individual, you know, like this, but some of it came in like wrappers and stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is take it all out of the wrappers and then figure out what shelves I'm going to put it on. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So. Oh my gosh. I literally just threw a skein of yarn on the floor over there instead of the wrapper. I really need to get it together. My brain is clearly still really foggy from this new medication. I need to get my walker and sit my butt down so I'm gonna move this chair here I need to go get my walker because I cannot breathe and I do not want to pass out and clearly my brain is doing its thing since I just threw that yarn on the floor so beer back okay got the walker maybe I can think properly now oh. all the blood goes away from my brain when I stand up for too long and I get out of breath like this, and I can't breathe, and I can't think, and I pass out, and everything else, and it's a whole thing, and we don't want that. So, that's what the walker's for. So, maybe now I will only throw the wrappers on the floor and keep the yarn on the couch. So, back to it. I 
also got this, I don't know if you can hear me. It's another big twist value, obviously, but it's in the color mint. And I don't think that I've ever used this before. I don't know, that might be really bright on the camera. I have my lights right here. But it is really pretty and I'm really excited to use it. That's upside down. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've used this before, so I got a couple of these. So we'll see how it looks worked up. I'm sure I'll love it. It looks really pretty already. So yeah, back to taking care of the yarn. Okay, I'm going to use my walker in a way that I'm not supposed to. Don't try this at home. Maybe I'll just take care of what is on the couch right now and then I'll get the rest down. You can't see it, it's off the camera, but up there I still have a bunch in packages. I might need to go get my husband to help me get those down so I do not fall. But yeah, I think we're just gonna take care of these for now and then go from there because it's just a mess and it's all over the place and it's overwhelming. So let's start putting it onto the shelves. I don't know where this random one came from. What shall I do with the tan? I do not know. Put it over here for now. I don't know if all that green is going to fit. We're about to find out. Mm -hmm. My god. I thought that was going to fall on me. Okay, the memory card was blinking at me, but I think I fixed it, I think, yeah, I think it's good. Okay. Is this purple or pink? Purple? Pink? Purple? Pink? I feel like it, when it's with the purples it looks too pink, but when it's with the pink it looks too purple. I have no idea where to put it. I think I'm gonna put all the like pretty ones up there with that light pink well they're all pretty but you know the colorful ones and stuff like that I think I'll put up there on top where I have a little bit of extra room okay let's see I really don't know where to put the tan and the gray the rest of the white um I need to take care of this blue Maybe I could try to get the rest of that down? Maybe? I'll try. Ooh. Okay, I need to be careful. Okay, need husband. We're making progress, I swear. We're making progress. We still have a lot left. And we still have a bunch on the desk. And all this stuff, but I need a drink and a snack and a break and a nap but I'm not gonna take a nap but I am gonna get a drink and a snack probably and take a break and then I'll be back yeah okay snack has been had drink has been drank need to finish taking care of the yarn I'm gonna take all that out of the packages like I did before and try to find a place for it on the shelf really have no idea I don't know I thought I counted like I said when I bought this stuff I swear I counted but then I must have added some more just a few I don't know what I'm saying anymore it's chaos this room is a mess and it's chaos I'm gonna take care of it and I'm gonna fix it okay okay see me whoopsies there you go pals maybe I will put the rest of the tan in the white over here because I have some empty space over there uh, it's definitely not all going to fit I told my husband that it would fit it was enough to fill the shelves Maybe we can make it work. Hmm? 
Maybe. I could have planned this better. But, you know. This is going well. Yeah. They're full. So, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25 skeins of yarn left. And zero. Well, a couple can fit over there. And then maybe 1, 2, 3. Okay, a couple more can fit, but definitely not all of it. I actually have some yarn in some of these drawers as well, just like colors I don't use as much or colors for like family projects and stuff I'm working on that are not as my vibe and aesthetic. Um, so maybe I'll just put some of the like dark reds and dark greens, Christmas colors and grays and stuff I don't use as much in the drawers and try to get the rest of like the prettier colors on the shelves. Yeah. And maybe just like rearrange this a little bit better. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. Like in this drawer I have like blacks and stuff like that. Oh, labels falling off. So maybe I can put like the gray and all that in there and yeah. Okay, we're getting close, I swear. I have, shelves are full, hang on, let me show you. Shelves are full, almost. Like I said, I'm gonna try to fit a couple more down there, maybe one up there, maybe one right there. One up there, mostly full, but I have all this left, and now I have this giant mess, and the one that I told you <laughs> that I accidentally threw on the floor, and I still have these ones, and this one, and this whole mess to clean up. Um, I was going to put it in my drawers, and I did put a couple in the drawers, but I can't even, I can't even open it. I do not know what to do with the rest of this stuff. I'm going to figure it out. Maybe I could just put them in there. I don't know. I need to clean up this mess, so yeah. So yeah, definitely made a lot of progress, but have a little ways to go and a mess to clean up now and everything. Um, I'm going to get the rest figured out. But, so pretty. Looks so much better now. I didn't like the empty shelves. I had it full before. Well, not those exact shelves, but the shelves I had before were full. And then I minimized it all and went through it and got rid of and donated a bunch of colors that I just really didn't find myself like grabbing and using a lot. I donated them to a family member that worked at an old folks home and knew this old woman that crocheted a lot and she wanted the yarn so I gave it to her so she could give it to her but yeah so then that left me with some, some empty shelves once I got these new ones these new shelves so am I making sense I need another snack I'll be right back okay snack situation figured out yarn situation figured out now I can put my pillows and my whip baskets back on my couch <sighs> well done we did it we took care of all the yarn and all the stuffs. So, I think that's where I'm going to end today's vlog. I'm bleeding. Not fun. One of the yarn labels must have gotten me. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, so I think that's where I'm going to end today's vlog. I'm tired. I need a nap for real now. I'm sorry if I've been out of breath for 70% of this video or more. Um... Like I said, I'm having some side effects of one of my new medications. It's getting a lot better. I'm having a lot better of a day today, but I'm still, you know, going through it. So, thank you for being patient with me. And if I've been out of breath, sorry. But, we did it. Yarn shelves are full. Drawers are too full. Stuffed. Yeah, so I took care of all the things and 
finish my pattern and I think that's I need to take care of these buttons just realized I still haven't taken care of my buttons but I took care of the hooks and all the other things in the yarn so I'll take care of the buttons later but we got a lot done so that's good um, most importantly we got the pattern done and that will be out March 1st like I said that's tomorrow for me but for you it will already be available by the time I post this video so the link will be in my description the brighter days bottle bag just put your bottle right in and then it has two straps yeah so you can find that on my website I really like the yellow one with this pink water bottle I just really love pink and yellow together if you haven't noticed my favorite thing ever but yeah I think I showed you earlier what it looks like you know you know yeah if you want the pattern on my website link in the description so I think that's all for now thank you guys for hanging out with me and doing all the crochet things and putting away all the yarn and going through all the yarn and the yarn haul and the buttons haul and you know the whole thing um so yeah i think that's all i have for you guys so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and i'll see you next time bye guys